Mjamani alikuwa ni mtu anafanya tu kazi za serikali. Baadaye akaamua kuomba transfer ku fryer. Mimi yeye nikienda na mtu kinataka tu fast afanye. Anilipe pesa kwanza tena pia tukinini tukienda naye mpira pia avae. Unajua si tunataka ge kwe 200 si chenye tunataka kwa hiyo kona. Eh lakini sasa unajua hapa tao sasa hivi kuna wanyamaribu hata waganda wamekuja wametuharibia bei. Mimi sikai kama kandui kuna hata wenye anajuza kwa 100 hata 50. Mimi maisha yakakuwa ngumu penye nilikuwa nafanya kazi. Mwaka nikazia. Ili bidi sibati niko na toilet. Sasa niko na maisha ni ngumu kukula mtoto anastaenda ende shule. Na kazi iko hapa hivi at least ndio zajuza watu wapati kitu ya kukula. Rate of commercial sex work in Kenya is noted to have increased especially in urban settings and also in rural settings. More than 82% of Kenyans have had an encounter with commercial sex workers while conducting their businesses. Tonight we decide to roll in the streets of Kandui where this business is blooming. What's up my people and of course this is Culture Hub TV. I'm on the outskirts of Bungoma town and currently I'm in Kandui. By the way, have you ever wondered why there are so many commercial sex workers in our streets? That is why we are here. We want to find out more. We want to uncover uh, some truths behind them. Join me as we unveil their stories. I'm your host, Presenter Dante. Kandui as a business center has grown due to the development of Webuye Malaba Highway. Fuel tankers are a common sight at Kandui area in Bungoma County. The town is also characterized by numerous lodgings and bars which become convenient to visitors who want to spend the night in this upcoming commercial center. Kwanza usijuka umesikia bei. Bei ni very affordable. Kama hawa sasa Commercial sex work in this place is affordable as they charge 200 Kenyan shillings per round and at least 1,500 Kenyan shillings for the whole night. Na short moja, tuseme tu standard price. Bay tu yenye nguza ni ya kawaida normal price ya short moja. Uwe na kwa pesa ngali. Kuna wengine waisha zoesha rute huku juu, unapata ni 100, 150, lakini sasa sisi tunategeme bile tumepata client. Kuna pata client hati tumambi shot moja ni 500, mungine atatao, mungine sasa ujua wadogo wadogo kazi. Ah, tuwa hati kumambi ya mtu 300, anaona, eh, se, wacha niende huku juu. Sasa ilabida tayo 200, tuchukue. Unajua si tunataka ke kue 200, si chenye tumaka kwa hiyo kona. Eh lakini sasa unajua hapa tao sasa hivi kuna wanyamaribu hata waganda wamekuja wametuharibia bei. Mimi sikai kama kandui kuna hata wenye anajuza kwa 100 hata 50. Eh nimesikia hivyo sasa wametuharibia bei. Sasa ukiambia kwa watu watu wa 200 ndio tunawapata tu. Mm? Tunawapata tu moja moja pia. Lakini hiyo ndio tunataka ke kue standard. Eh hiyo ndio kue tu yani kama ni ya chini ni 200. However, prices can change if you decide to be the host, meaning it's more cheaper than when you use their rooms. Ni bei tofauti ziko tofauti. So ya nyumba iko juu. Ya nyumba iko hata chini. Oh ya nyumba ni bei rais. Mm ni bei ya chini. So ya nyumba kama short inaweza kuwa pesa ngapi? Ah short nayo bado ni hiyo bei tu tu ndani kulala na nasema. Eh usiku yote. Atakwambia tuseme 1000. Atakwambia tena 1000 moja hii. Truck drivers are the biggest beneficiaries of this offer as they opt to do it in their trucks. Some of the precautions they take before engaging in the act is they ensure their clients wear a condom, 
though it's not a fixed policy as it depends with the depth of your pocket eh mi wa nikienda na mtu kenataka tu fast afanye anilipe pesa kwanza tena pia tuki nini tukienda naye mpira pia avae sipendi kwenda na mtu without mpira so mpira ni yeye anakuja nayo au wewe uko na mipira mimi ndio huwa niko nazo mzangu na ukiweza pata mteja mwenye hataki kutumia mpira eh nikipata kama huyo naogopa kutu yani kwenda na yeye without mpira ah mimi wasipendi Okay, umeniambia upendi. Mm. Na leo umeniambia unaogopa. Naogopa eh. Fika extend yenye uamue fanya naye bila mpira. Na bila, bila mpira. <laughs> Maybe akiongeza pesa. Akiongeza <laughs> pesa mzuri. <laughs> oh so so kifupi tuseme. Mhm. Bei ya uh, kufanya bila mpira huwa inakuwa juu kidogo. Mhm, inakuwa juu. Na ikitokea huyo mtu akona na ugonjwa au hiyo au 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 kuna madawa nyeo meza kuna dawa zenye tuna meza kama saa hizi prep imekuja tuna meza okay. kuna nyingine even family planning pia tunatumia sasa mm-hmm. kupata mimi wawezi kupata ugonjwa pia wawezi unfortunately some of them don't do this out of fun they are forced by circumstances on our path to uncover this we meet monica and mary don't know their real names who decides to share their stories on why they decided to venture into this business kenye defender ni yaze biashara wakati nilitoka mimi nilitoka na kuru kukuja kazi huko alikapata mjama ile hali tukaza na mapenzi tuka amua kuishi sasa ile harakati tukakaka nikajifungua mtoto mjama alikuwa ni mtu anafanya tu kazi serikali baadaye akamwa kuomba transfer kufurahia kenye nilileta alitaka mtoto kijana alikileta dini sasa wakati ili <laughs> Sasa niko na maisha ni ngumu kukula mtoto anastaida aende shule. Na mtoto bado ni mchanga. Iko na mwanzo karibu lile ni ju maisha ni ngumu hakuna vile utafanya pia naye anafanya kazi. Akaenda lile nuza unaweza faulu ukakuja kufanya biashara ngambia eh hii biashara ngumu sijaifanya. Kaniambia lile njari ebu jari buju hakuna kazi yote juu. Ukisema utafute kazi hapa Bungoma ni ngumu na ukisema nikisema ni, nirudi nyumbani wazazi wangu wote walikufa na kwa nishi na sisa mama so najua obvious na nilikuwa nimetoroka kuja Bungoma sasa nikaona ni mtu na kurudi huko eh mwanzo hii kazi mwanzo tobwa je alikuwa na msichana kazi kaniambia mtu sasa nilikuwa at least nimekaa na huyo msichana kwake nikamweza mwezi mmoja kaniambia unaweza Jo hata mtu wangu mimi sikumnyonyesha. Nikwambia eh sasa mimi bila nimesha nimeshaanza kunyonyesha mtu wangu itakuwaje. Akaniambia ndio ndio naweza. Bora mnyonyeshe mpe uji maid anaweza chunga mtoto. Aya nikafanya hivyo. Nikaanza kukuja street. Nikaacha msana mfanye kazi. Yaani ni maisha ni ilifanya ni hiyo. Maisha ni ilipitia hivyo nikasema eh watu mtu wangu azikosa kukula ke azikosa kwenda shule na kazi iko hapa ile at least anaweza jiuza watu wapate kitu ya kukula yenyewe nikakuja hapa siwezi sema mara kwanza nilipata at least ni nilipata pata wateja ndio mara kwanza kwa mgeni utapata wateja hapo ndo nilianza like any other business commercial sex work has also its own challenges clients can sometimes decide to reap without sowing ni sana ndio naweza pata mjama mle mnaenda na yeye Anakuambia kulala mpaka sibini pesa ngapi unaambia hata labda 3000 ama sana kibagina anakuambia wa, niko na 15 alafu baadaye mkienda napata amekutumia baadaye anakuambia sina pesa ama saa zingine anakufukuza na vitu kama hizo anakuambia ni vitu tu mingi tu <laughs> isi kupigana na mtu kwenye dikata tu kunipa pesa yangu ndio nilileta kelele kidogo ya kugombana hiyo kugombana mbona au kuniambia una pesa Eh mbona umekataa kunilipa yani vitu kama hizo tu. Na kama baada mtu ameinsista ikiana pesa ana pesa. Sasa utamfanya aje mimi ni mwanamke na yeye ni mwanaume. 
But on a perfect circumstance, it's lucrative. After a stroll around the street, I decided to try my bargaining power and see how they interact with clients. The government of Kenya has been linked with the increase in commercial sex work for exerting little efforts in the fight to stop commercial sex work. Mbiwa kuna kuwa na chama mbao nyinyu wa mna kuwa kama kama sako li sako hivi wewe paso na lume kwa register kwa yu chama mi chama vada si jare jesta kwa chama yote na watu wanyo wame register uwa unasikia ni advantages gani wako nazo mtu mwa kwa register kwa chama kuna advantage nyana kuwa na yu kwa nyinyu wenye hamu yuko kwa chama this has attracted the younger generation to commercial sex work and resulted to rise in child prostitution in the society. Increase in commercial sex work has also contributed as a barrier to the fight against drug abuse, crime and HIV AIDS. Commercial sex workers reported use alcohol and other drugs such as bank and mirror to generate the confidence to face clients. We, Kumbe, this is what they go through. It's so unfortunate that some of our sisters, mothers, have to sacrifice so much to ensure that ends me. I hope you have learned something. I'm your host, Dante, and this is Culture Hub TV. Make sure you like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.